Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use parametric equalizer. Without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now, and I'm still have these, uh, you know, sample uh, audio here. All right, let's try to put um, some audio. Okay, cool. All right, so all we have to do is to go to Effects tab here, look for the effects, and then let's try to search for parametric equalizer all right under audio effects there's a parametric equalizer all right so to add it to our uh, audio here so we just need to drag and drop this to our audio all right and then release the mouse and then you have these parametric um, equalizer on our audio so to check that let's go to our effects control all right so let's go here and then look for effects control all right and then we already have here the parametric all right uh equalizer okay so i'm gonna you know delete some effects here all right let's delete it all right now we just have these uh parametric equalizer all right so we're gonna edit this all right as you can see these dialog box will pop up all right so if we play the video so uh, please use the uh, audio. All right. So what we're gonna do is this one is the uh, base frequency, the middle frequency, and the high frequency. All right. So that's basic. Don't be overwhelmed. It's only you know a, a graph. All right. So this is the uh, frequencies right here. All right. And this is the decibels. All right. The master gain. Sorry. This is the and this is the decibels. All right. How loud and how um, loud your uh, sounds or and how. Um, low your sounds all right and this some um, keyframes right it's like a keyframes or a nose right here all right that you can manipulate okay you can drag and drop these nodes all right depends so i'm going to show you uh the difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh disable this uh all right i'm going to disable these um nodes right here all right so we only have one nose right here all right i'm going to show you the difference of these nodes all right so that you can uh see the you can hear the actual difference all right so this is the bass middle and high frequencies all right so i'm going to start with the, uh, with the bass here all right so i'm going to play uh while i'm playing i'm going to put right there and then i'm going to drag this to the right all right and so that you can see the difference of the sounds that it will create okay let's try that all right as you can see it's not very pleasing because i'm navigating to plus 40 all right so basically in just zero it's just picking there's no sound so that's why you can't hear any sounds all right i'm gonna drag this and let's go ahead and try to play this around negative 10 okay i'm gonna play it again okay perfect all right so right now we have here our timeline all right and we have a couple of uh, music in here we have these you know uh, uh music or audio here all right and uh, right now we're going to talk about how to normalize your uh, audio in this uh, in, in our time. Do that. All right. So all right. So we are in the uh, clip. Okay. I'll try to make it louder so I can hear. All right. Okay. So if you want to remove the bass of your voice here, all right, you can just uh, put it here. All right. And then once you play it, click on audio or there's no bass. Okay. Once you put in when you once you increase this, all right. Let's see. Click on there's a bass right there right let's go here with the mid frequencies all right i'm gonna put it down here all right like that click on workspace and click on audio as you can see the uh, the mid the mid tones right there it's or the the frequency in the mid tones is not kind of you know it's it's gone all right the mid tones or the uh, mid frequency was gone all right let's try to put it on the high frequencies let's try to reduce the high frequencies here all right okay let's try to play it so right now we have here all right so it's basically all, all we hear is about the bass and the mids and then the highlights or the high tones is just completely missing all right as you can see all right so i'm gonna play one more time again so so that we can see the difference these you know of uh, music or audio here all right and uh, right now we're gonna all right let's try to okay this one let's try to increase this all right, I'll try to play it again. Workspace and click on audio. Perfect. All right, so right now we have here our timeline, all right? And we have a couple of uh, music in here. We have these, you know, of, uh, 
Uh, music, sir. All right, as you see the difference, right? Now, there's a preset here, a, a default preset, where you can see choose acoustic guitar, beefy snare, full reset, generic, generic, heavy guitar, loudness, and vocal enhancer. All right, so if you try to choose vocal enhancer, it will automatically create this, all right, trying to boost a little bit of uh, the bass right here. The mids uh, is trying to pull, pull it a little bit lower, and then with the highlights, you know, going up, all right? So if you play Play this. Let's see. Your audio here, all right? And uh, right now we're going to talk about how to normalize your. Uh, all right, and then I'll try to uh, you know decrease the the bass a little bit here. All right, down. Okay. Here. Okay, let's try to play. audio and this. Um, and okay, and also all right, let's try to uh, undo it. Okay, and we have here, let's say the bass right here, and then we can, uh, the frequency, all right, and the dB, we can change the dB and the frequency right here. So for the frequency, let's try to, uh, let's try to, the, let's try to change the gain right here. I put a plus here, all right, then if we put it down, all right, and then we can just try to change the, change the the audio gain right here you can do that basically the information is this is your uh, bass uh, the mids and the highs all right frequencies okay all right basically that's it for parametric equalizer thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video